Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Parker Tech. Today's beverage is a very nice and chilled orange juice with juicy bits. Very nice indeed. So welcome back to Parky Tech, where in the previous episode we basically started the series and managed to get to a stage where we've got some very basic rides. Whoops, that was unintentional. Uh, one moment, I'm just going to put the bins in there like I was trying to do and then also <clears throat> replace the flooring, which is... Uh, for some reason defaulted now that I've loaded it. There we are. Anyway, so we got some basic rides in. We have earmarked a couple of areas for monorails, so that's okay. Hopefully we'll be able to expand on that in the future. We have the Haunted House. I haven't renamed them. I know a couple of people were um, suggesting some names, but we're going to go with the defaults for now. We're not going to stress over it too much. We have the Haunted House, which has got uh, only oh, eight guests in the ride and two in the queue. I think it's probably because there's nothing else to go over there for. We have the Skyfall here, which is 16 guests, 21 in the queue. We're going to put that up to six generic units of currency. The Turbulon, which has got a lot of people on there, and we're also making, I would guess, quite a bit of money. Yeah, that's uh, pretty good indeed. Total profit is nearly two grand. And we have the recently built Bumper Boat, which has, wow, okay, um, 24 people in the queue. Let me put the price up there. So anyway, we're going to continue on building, and at minimum, I want to get another ride in here, which was directly suggested from someone with, um, basically saying, that can you get multiple rides in here? Yes, you can, and we're going to put more in here. And also, we're going to go for, don't think a coaster, but we're certainly going to build a... Um, go-kart track because honestly they are really really good so over to our rides here and to the water rides we currently have the river rapids in there and you've got things like log flume and paddle boats and row boats i don't actually know what the difference is between the paddle boats and the row boats boats that propelled by the rowing of the guests guests look for fun things to do while on the rides um, I think we'll just go with swan boats because why not and uh, it always does it that way I always get confused with that one let me just go ahead and build uh, when you place these uh, let's just double check that it has this arrow and I think that's where they're gonna expand that's where you can expand but no it's not that is where they like essentially exit and start um, start to enjoy the ride so we're gonna extend this along to probably there will be uh, sufficient and then the entrance and exit will go in like so so it's not as long as this one so uh, actually we could probably even extend it to there I don't want to go any further because it means that nothing will ever go back in <laughs> which is yeah going to be a bit of a problem um what I'll do is I'll open this this is the paddle boat obviously it's not yet connected to the path so I will sort that out now like so this will then extend along like that and then we're gonna go for um, what did we use for the ground it was the bricks wasn't it It was this thing here I believe uh, yes yeah, so we'll place this along so it's gonna go I mean last time we had it go like this um, instead what I'm gonna do is have it go along there then along to there and then oh it's actually put it on the right side of one two three four five Five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we don't need it that long. That will now suffice. Going to go over to our attachments here. And then we're going to place all of these entrances and exits. Uh, uh, canopies over the top. Just so when it rains, the uh, will hopefully just... It's a nice bit of shelter there. But the most likely not going to go on this if it's raining. Because, well, it's already pretty bad. Anyway, we're just going to change it to the daytime, just so we can see what's going on here. And we're going to place some go-karts. So, where is the best place for go-karts? I think a place for go-karts would be probably a nice place around here. So we're going to do that. So over to our building and pathings, and the pathing is going to run across here. Our pathing will always be where possible a uh, two. Uh, with just because we can um, this is going to go to here and most likely go around and connect to that one But I'll have to check on that later on. I also want to check on the uh, the decoration is medium I also want to make sure that uh, the decoration is at medium for every location so at minimum, yeah, at minimum. So that's now in, and oh, there we go. We've got the swan boats going. So we've got a solo person here. That's Wanda Rogers, and then we've got a couple of people on this one. So they're paddling, and then we've got Dawn Allen, who's at the back. And this is where these boats start. Well, we've got a swan versus <laughs> swan versus the bumper boats war going to go on here. Uh, many a time when I've done this, what happens is the yeah, you can see like the bumping into the uh, the swans, and the swans just don't care. There's a lot more. 
Uh, <laughs> there must be a lot more mass for the swan boat. And what often happens is these guys try to go back into the uh, the entrance here. They get put like this. This happens. So the entrance and exits just get completely clogged up. And it means that some people spend literally years on this water. Anyway, I digress. Over to building. And we're going to go to our thrill rides and to the go-kart. So this is, as I said, one of the... Um, one of my more favourite things to build in the game. Um, I'm going to probably have the entrance probably along here, uh, maybe, and then it's going to curve round it. The thing is, you can build them in such a small form factor. It's uh, really, go uh, really good, these go-karts. So we're going to have this thing probably placed, I think, there would be fine. So we'll place that there, and this is where we start building our... Uh, we start building our... Thing. So uh, this is the track builder. This is the go kart track builder here, and you can place like the different like curves on it and such. So you've got like a 45 degree curve, a 90 degree curve. You can alter the elevation of it. When you go to course, there's also more options as well. You've got things like S bends left, S bend right. You've got these sort of curves which you can then place them up and down. So all these are fairly good. So I'm just going to build our entrance way like this. So we have uh, this is our um, sort of pit lane essentially. What does it actually call it? It calls it a station because it's, let's say, for the building of coasters primarily. So we're going to uh, come out of the station here and we'll have, uh, we can't have a, one of those curves right, we'll have to use a very, very sharp curve. So what I'm going to do, uh, you can also put banks on it as well like that and that helps for like g-forces and such and lateral forces but with the go-karts you don't really need to worry about that too much. Um, so if I wanted to I could immediately you just start going up like that and build it you can't go right across but that's fine so they're going to come across to there we're going to have probably an s bend actually don't want to go up straight away that seems to be a bit a bit garbage to be honest doesn't it let me just go ahead and um have a straight there and then we're going to sort of curve it round uh, maybe delete that one curve it round to there and then we'll have a sort of bend uh, curving like that way. Do you want to go back over? I guess we could go straight. We could go that way, then that way, and then that way, and then we could have maybe a straight and then a curve that way and a curve that way. There we go. That's okay. And then curving nicely round here to what essentially is a straight piece. We're going to fling in an S bend followed by an up um, spiral here, then that'll spiral around this way like so, but we'll have to maybe go straight and then straight and then a very sharp curve. Hopefully they don't over-egg that and end up going straight into the back of this uh, <laughs> beverage <laughs> beverage stand. That would be suboptimal to say the least. That's going to go in there. We'll have another, another couple of curves maybe, uh, maybe curve along here. And um, I want to start going down over, so that's going to go down and then down, and then we're going to curl probably to the other side, which at this time it's going to go... Um, actually, we'll sort of go... Um, hang on, how do we want to do this? Is that underground there? That is underground in that section. Let me delete that. We'll have to go sort of hard turn, um, straight, straight, and... Yeah, that'll be... Because of where it is, that'll be coming out of the side there, so I don't want to do that. I want to go like that to then go up. Um, can we do that? No, we can't, but it, it was sort of what I was looking for, sort of what I was looking for there, and then we'll go up and up and then straight and then, ah, uh, yeah, so that's done a couple of things. Firstly, it's went underground, but not fully, so we've got this horrible sort of canopy there. I'm not entirely happy with that, so we're going to delete back to about there, and you know what? We're just going to stay above ground. I think staying above ground would probably make it a little bit more desirable. We'll have a sharp corner there. We'll go and have a maybe a straight. No, we'll probably probably have a couple of really harsh corners in here. Why not we make this like say quite a harsh section? So like sort of S bend there. This will come along and um, maybe around and then around. And this is like oh that's really <laughs> that's a really couple of tight turns there. Um, and I want to get back to realistically uh, the start if I can um, I mean it is certainly possible we'll go straight there nice sort of curve round that might be good can we have an S bend in here you can have an S bend in there I didn't realize you could have an S bend in that sort of form factor there um, which is pretty good so we'll just sort of curve it over to there maybe mm, like that and then well you know what that seemed to connect up fairly well so we're gonna go with that um, 
the exit will be at the front like that and what I'm gonna do is I mean it says excitement is very low nausea very low uh, intensity very low I don't know if that is true let me open it and we'll see what it is like because obviously this is uh, let me change that back to daytime there uh, this is obviously the the first time we've seen this on the go so let me just go ahead and extend to there that is not where I wanted to connect to and there we go so this is the go karts so there we have the go karts in we can change the we can change the amount of trains it says in laps as well we're going to change the laps down to two laps so that should be fine and I'm going to speed up to max speed because I want to see if this does change the rating because it says very low excitement low nausea sorry uh, very low excitement, low intensity, and very low nausea. Decoration is also low. So decoration is something I definitely want to alter. Um, you can press R on the rides and you get a, let's say, a ride view. So we might check that out. People are still filing on it, which is good. Let me go ahead and start to decorate this thing then. Uh, Go-karts, we're going to go with the pavilion. And we're just going to change the colours to be the sort of same, the same colours as this. So it's like red and white so red secondary color being sort of white and yep yeah, that is good enough for us let me actually i don't want to put them there i want to put them uh, above the entrance and exits like i say i try to cover these up where possible i know not everyone likes the look of it but it uh, it's fine it uh, does the job back over the decoration then and i'm going to go right to the top and go for probably large props and we've got like adventure tents we've got mausoleums I like the idea of an adventure tent. That might look quite nice, mightn't it? Um, like a couple of adventure tents around here. There's one there. And we do have a slightly different one, do we? Um, yeah, it's a slightly different one. So we'll have the adventure tents around there. We've got... Oh, road barriers. Yeah, we can place road barriers. I mean, not that one, because that would be horrible. Um, but we'll certainly place road barriers around here. Oh, that looks really good, actually. I'm happy with that. Let me uh, finish this off then. So rotate that around to there. All of these sharp corners will put in some road barriers just so they don't you know crash and wipe everyone out some of it we can't really see there we go and then we've got these barriers here which i thought would be okay for there but apparently not um i mean we could put them there and up there but not for the not for the big sweeping ones and we also have straight uh hang on that one there yeah that's just a straight piece i'm only gonna have the road barriers um, on the on the curves and such. Oh, hang on. So it looks like people are almost on here at the, the full. And there we go. There's the go karts. And let's press R. And here's the go karts. First person view. Oh, we've been overtaken. One, two, three people going up to the first corner on the top here. And then really harsh sort of hairpin round. Obviously bleeding our speed off, taking in the racing line, but someone just managed to get in to the last bit there. Turning on the first, second, third corner. <laughs> harsh corner there nice sweeping bit around here and we're gonna go straight through for the second lap a bit harsh on the first couple of corners there some nice sweeping bits we can see the tents on the left going for an overtake but we're just not gonna manage it just can't get past this person in front there I'm not too sure whether that's a hairstyle or a helmet that they've got on I have absolutely no idea <laughs> um, it looks like you don't actually wear helmets on this one and yeah okay so it's not a bad view um, if you like trees obviously and we're going to come into the last part of the stage. We see a person on the left there wearing a suit of armour. And there we go. That is the end of the ride. If we check the ride, we have got more ratings. It is... Hmm. Not very good. It's not very good at all. It's medium, medium, very low. So... Excitement is medium, intensity is medium, nausea is very low, decoration medium. So it's not brilliant. I'm going to close it, I'm going to edit that. I think we can do better. I think we can do better. We need more We need more speed, I think. So what I'm going to do is delete this section from about there, and we'll delete back over. Um, so deleting these sections of track... There we go. So let's just get some more speed in here. And then we're going to S-bend it there. And then maybe S-bend it back. We'll have a... We'll have a sort of... Mm, I don't think I want it that long. Um, I want to sweep back in. 
to maybe there. Go straight and down this time. And we're going to go maybe actually uh, snort. We'll go straight flat. And then, yeah, that was correct. And then down. One, two, three, four. Straight. And then the question is if I go here, yeah. If I go, hang on. Uh, if we build here, we won't be able to see the underground section. Um, You know what then? Maybe if I delete back from there. This goes down. Let's continue. And then there. And that should mean it's fully underground. It is fully underground from that point onward, I believe. Let me double check. Yep, that's fine. So from here then, we can delete that. We can have some nice sort of S-bends there, S-bends there. Straight. Turn. Straight. Some nice curves in here. Straight. I mean, we can go underneath. This is the whole point. We can go underneath this, no problem. Um, you know what I want to do? Go straight there. Then curve. A couple of straight sections. S-bend it. And... Yeah, nice curves there. Brilliant. And then... Maybe S-curve it, and then I want to start coming back up using these. So up. And... Ah, oh, darn it. See, that would just... <laughs> we're just on the wrong level. So if I, if I go up one, straight, and then go up... Does that suffice? It does. It does. Um... Not an ideal position. But it's okay. Let me say delete that. No. I think... To be honest, that... Should do the job. Let's try that again. So, it's a lot different now. It's underground. There's a lot more to it. Obviously spent a lot of money doing that, but I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. While that's queuing, let's place another ride. We've got the money. We're going to go for a thrill ride. Inverted double swing, I think, is a reasonable one to build. And we're going to place that... Um, do I want to place a thrill ride over here? Actually, no, we'll, we'll do more of a chill ride rather than a thrill ride. And we're going to use, I think, the Ferris wheel. We'll have a Ferris wheel over here. Uh, the Ferris wheel will be placed... Now, this is a difficult thing for me to place because of its form factor. Um, I could place it over here. No, I think I think over here is certainly the way to go, but the monorail is going to come out and up. So I have to be careful on where I place this because the monorail needs to have this space. It's going to be back here. So I think we could go with we could go with it here. That should be okay. And luckily the entrance and exit can be placed on the corners. Uh, not <laughs> okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna point out now. This may be changed sooner rather than later. We'll see. We'll see how we get on. So there's that in. Good. So we've got that placed. Got a nice chill ride over there, which is good. We haven't got any benches and seating, and ooh, that's some. Sick there, not ideal. Let's... Do you want to cover this up? Does this have... No, I was going to say, does it have rain protection? It really doesn't. It really doesn't have rain protection. Um, how are these doing as well? So that's got seven in the queue. That's got 17 in the queue. Let's put the price up a little bit. Go, carts are on the go now. Let's see what they look like. Looks pretty good. Up and round. Obviously, all this has changed. I need to put lots more decoration. I'll do that in a little bit. Digging round. Uh, oh, bit of a bit of a crash on the back there. I don't know if you saw. And then, see so going well, underground and underground. There we go. You're not supposed to ride on these and go underground. It's just a when you see like the ground popping up. That's just a a quirk of the mod that we're using. And you can see all the supports because, like I say, you're never supposed to see 
underneath here and up and round and then we're going to continue on brilliant so as it's still waiting for ratings it is still awaiting new test results but while we're waiting let's go ahead and place some more stuff in here so i've used the adventure tents um medium decorations you've got like basalt pillars and such uh, they're not bad they're not bad you've got entrance booths and tire barriers and wells oh well that might be quite nice to place up there yeah, that's okay looks nice we've got archery targets cannons antennas a spooky statue <laughs> okay fair enough um, windmills and weapon stand tesla coil <laughs> there's loads of stuff here that i've not uh, seen before oh there's a campfire yeah let's place a campfire in there that might be nice um we've got Candy canes and gold chests and such in barrels. A couple of barrels might be nice. Like that. And let's see what the rating is of this thing now. Excitement high, intensity medium, nausea very low. Okay, so we've increased the excitement rating, which means we're doing better. Oh, 25 people in the queue. Let me just put this price up to, I know it's going to sound ridiculous, but I'm just going to double it. I'm going to take it from 3 to 12 because, well, you make a lot of money with the go-karts. You really do make a lot of money with these go-karts. Um, okay, back to decoration then. And I want to place, as I said, a couple more, a couple more things in here. We've got like baskets and such and, and like sacks that can go by the side of this. I like to also rotate it round as well, so make sure we've got like some even coverage of things. Like I said, just trying to make this like a little encampment type stuff. Uh, here, Bill? You know, you can sort of sit around the campfire. That looks quite nice, yeah. Like I say, not too fussed on exactly how we place all of these, but they'll be fine. Uh, you've got headstones and skulls and skeletons and... Oh, mine track! So I had that previously, I made a mine, um... I had like a mine track. And it was re I really enjoyed it because you got like, um, say, like a mine track going in there, and then you can have like a crate. We've got like a a mine cart which we can place on there, and oh, it's like a trough. It's all like processing of things, isn't it? And I think you can go for. We need like an entrance where oh, there's a track buffer thing as well. That's quite nice. Yeah, I like that. TNT crate, <laughs> um, and we need a, like a like an entrance type thing. Can we use an arch of some kind? Arch. I've typed in arch. Mm, there's many archways. Stone archway. Oh, that's far too large. I think most of these archways would be from. That's ridiculous. Uh, most of these archways would be from. Um, like I say, walkways and such, so they've got a certain size. How are we doing for this one here? 30 in the queue. I'm going to put up to 20. I'm going to put up to 20 and see what happens. There we go, 20. Um, back to building here. How am I going to make an entrance for this? Probably for this one. Maybe walls, and if we can find like a wooden wall of some kind. I would use, like, metal. I don't know. No, I think wood would be better. That's what I'm after, something like that. Mm, it's also a little bit too large. Okay, there is a simple solution. It's a bit of a lazy one, I admit. But... Rocks. And what you do is you place a rock there as if it's collapsed. It's actually not terrible. Especially if you place a couple more around as if it's all collapsed somehow. Like an abandoned mine type thing. Oh, there's gems there as well. <laughs> I quite like the gems. Hmm. Let's place a couple of rocks around. No, I actually don't like that of these on these corners. Could fit one in there. Oh, that's actually nice. Yep, that's good. And what we'll do is we'll probably clone some of these trees. 
Let me just put a couple of trees around. Oh, it's raining. So what's going to happen now that it's raining is people are going to charge towards this thing. And uh, that's about it, actually. Let me just check over to our here. This is the views section. Rain protection. So they're actually going to charge towards this because it's got rain protection. And also underground here. So there's a lot of rain protection there. Cool. Um, decoration should be a bit higher now on this one. It's not still medium. It's still medium decoration. Wow. Okay, I'm going to get another ride in. Um, this time... Oh, motion simulator. The reason for a motion simulator? Because people love it when it's raining. <laughs> so it's a very, very easy thing to put in to gain a lot of people on it quickly. Um, can't really place it there because I need the space. I guess I could place it back here. Or maybe over here. Motion simulator there. And entrance and exit. The exit, what I'm going to do is have the path come along here with that. Obviously, we're expanding down to this side as well. Um, like that. I don't necessarily like it, but I'll do that and that. So at least that connects up. And this is going to go this side as well. The exit was going to come out and sort of meet up there. Rotate that around. Um, that one. And go down. Okay, so there's the exit. Entrance is just going to go like that. And then we'll open the simulator. I mean, it's not raining anymore, so we don't need to do that, but we have. Uh, right, so I'm going to go put another ride, and this it's going to be the double inverted swing. Because this thing does bring in a lot of people. Uh, we're going to place it a little bit further back than perhaps is reasonable. Actually, you know what? I will place it there. And the entrance can go in there, the exit can go in there, but I'll connect up the exit like that, and then the entrance will have like that. Oh, and it went in the right place, and then we'll open that up. This one is in the colours of sort of a yellow and... What colours have we got? Yellow, red, and sort of a dark colour. Okay. What we'll do is get this canopy then, change the colours to... I think it's that green. And the secondary will be like a dark grey. People are immediately flying on that. They really like that. How are the go-karts doing? They're alright. 42 people in the queue! <laughs> okay, right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Um... <laughs> Right, let me show you about uh, some music. Yeah, that's good. Right, so we have very high excitement, medium intensity, very low nausea, and medium decoration. Brilliant. Brilliant. So we got a chill ride over here, and people are really enjoying that chill ride. I'm really happy about that. That's good. That is good. What about the boats? 30 odd in the queue. It's 150. We're going to change it to... What's the other one set to? That's 8 quid and nobody's going on it. What a surprise. I'm going to change that to 5 and then this other one will also change to 4 because it's a little bit further along. Um, Alright. Let me just finish off maybe... I want a decoration on this. That's low decoration. Yeah. I am not surprised. Um, well, there's one way to drastically improve things and it is placing in you guessed it, some of these lanterns. I haven't placed them in at all this episode, so there you go. The problem I have is that I have put this canopy over the top before placing in these. Um, I should be able to get around it, because I know where the entrance ways are. That's a nice fitting music there. Oh, hang on, let me get rid of that one. Because it wasn't on the, technically the right side. 
and so we'll go in there. Oh no. Um Does it just go straight? It goes straight, this one. So that should be fine. And we'll cover those back up. Okay. So we have that one done, that one done. This one we haven't got any things over the top, but that's fine. Let me just uh change some of this and place some light in. Whoops! Oh, that's not what you wanted. That's not what you wanted. That's even more not what you wanted. There we go. Right. Back to usual. Oh, I'm deleting the lanterns. And then putting them back in. In fact, these lanterns are going to go all the way along. I'm going to check out what's it like at night. Because I bet it looks really pretty. Oh, it does. That's nice. More lemon good. Um... I don't think placing stuff around there is reasonable, but certainly what is reasonable is putting the price up for this motion simulator to five generic units of currency and placing some pavilions over the top. Once again though, I'm going to change the colours to like a, a light blue and a grey, because that's pretty much what we've got on the, uh, on the ride here. A bit problematic going up there, but it's not a huge drama. All right, so, quick rundown. February, year two. Money, just over 8,000. 356 people in the park. Happiness is good. Tiredness is low. We've got new rides in, specifically. The swan boats. Why not, no one going on the bumper boats. I'm gonna have to put the price down. We got Swan boats, we've got the monorail. Oh, that looks nice at night, doesn't it? Um, and there's 42 people in the queue. I cannot believe I've put up to 26. Hmm. There is a smash shortage of buns. There's a shortage of ride safety parts as well. Speaking of that, it's got a staff management. We're going to hire another janitor. Actually, two more janitors. We're going to hire another hauler. We're going to hire another maintenance person. Another security guard. And another night. There we go. Right, one final touch before we finish the episode. Going from the lanterns. And we're going to have lanterns. All along. And let me just double check. Does it just go along? It does just go along, that's fine. And because I'm using the eyedropper tool, we can just pick up the stuff I deleted and then put it straight back in. Okay. Okay, maybe I'll put that down at 22. I think it was a bit rich putting up to what it was. But that is going to make... I bet that's made its money back already. So construction costs was 3,000. Total revenue is 1,600. It hasn't made its money back yet, but the remaining value is still there. It's only been in existence since August year one. And it's February year too. <laughs> I really like that. That looks nice, that campfire. I mean, surely these should be facing it. <laughs> you would assume, wouldn't you? Like that. That's better. I'll see these sacks that we've moved. Shift them around. That's much better. Okay, so I really would like the decoration. Oh, the decoration has gone to high. Nice. This decoration will be very poor, though. Oh, decoration medium. Okay, that's good. Right, we have managed to get one, two, three, four, five rides in our park. Extra for this episode. Pretty happy with that. We're going to leave it there for now. Next episode of Parkitect, we will, probably at the very beginning, do what some people describe as boring or busy work, but we definitely need more benches. We need more bins. We need another toilet block somewhere, most likely here, because obviously people are eating and drinking here, so they're going to need to use facilities. And we may even look at... Hmm. I think we're going to build a money rail. I don't mean a monorail. I mean a money rail. And what that is, essentially, is the gentle monorail ride. And you place that monorail over... A lot of this stuff here so it'll go down this main boulevard over the go-karts and going around because 
It's a gentle ride, it's got rain coverage, and it goes over all of the decoration that we've done, so everybody really likes it. <laughs> and it makes a lot of money, hence the name Money Rail. Anyway, we're going to leave there for now. Hope you have enjoyed this episode of Parkitect. Next time we'll look at, as I said, benches, more rides, everything else. <laughs> and generally, crack on. Either way, hope you have enjoyed it. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings. Go cards are so good.